welcome back to my channel i'm darian and today we're going to be talking about juicing so juicing is something that i have been doing for years when i was a teenager that's when i was introduced to it although it wasn't a consistent thing in my younger teenage years once i became an adult and started living on my own i just bought a juicer and it became a lifestyle thing for me i really do enjoy the taste of juice i do know that fruit is good for me i do know that vegetables are good for me and and knowing that they are good for me i want to get them in my body but my lifestyle i feel like i'm always on the go so it just felt like how am i going to eat all these vegetables and fruit and then also i'm one of those people who if I have a hearty meal versus, you know, the healthier things I have been choosing, the more heartier, delectable meal. So with that being said, being a person who is pretty open with trying different foods and I like to have a variety of foods that I'm eating, I have just accepted that for right now with my lifestyle, juicing is one of those things that are good for me. Now, the past couple of years, I have been kind of finicky on and off with my juicing journey. So I'm at a place now where I'm like, I'm ready to jump back in consistently, like make juices every week and see the benefits that my body will have from making that a part of my lifestyle again. Although I've always had a juicer, I would just do it sporadically and randomly. And just being honest, with the way I've been eating lately, I definitely feel that I need to get more fruits and vegetables in my body. So this is why I love juicing. If you're not somebody who has been eating a lot of fruits and vegetables and you find it hard to eat them raw or eat them in their natural state don't give up on it maybe juicing could be an option for you when i was juicing consistently i noticed i was smaller i noticed that when i drunk the juice because i like to put at least one source of green in my juice whenever I make it whether it's kale or spinach if I don't it's because I'm trying a different recipe or I'm making a different juice for a different type of reason the reason I like doing the green juice is because I noticed when I was doing a lot of the green juices like putting greens in my juices consistently guess what was happening I was being cleansed if you know what I'm trying to say in the, the bathroom consistently honestly i love that because we're supposed to be going consistently but if you think about it if you're not getting these natural fruits and veggies and this natural stuff inside of you that's already supposed to help you be cleansed and detox and all you're eating is a bunch of food that is basically making you gain a bunch of weight and has all these toxins and stuff in it how are you going to be going and being cleansed on just eating a bunch of that food so i noticed when i was juicing i was being cleansed regularly i've seen the benefits firsthand in my life of me taking in fruits and veggies and juicing consistently and i want to get back to it because it worked for me now i'm not here to knock anybody on how they eat their fruits and veggies honestly i feel like get it in the way that you can get it in so if anyone is out here trying to judge you because you juice and not eating it you know completely from the raw state this or that do what works for you you know what you can handle you know your patterns and your lifestyle do what works for you and as you are doing those things and noticing good results then you can progress as you feel like you're able to progress so juicing works for me to just get those extra fruit and veggies in my body okay so i'm gonna go through and show you the different fruits and veggies that i like to put in what i would consider my go-to juicing recipe so this is basically the juice that i make consistently i always like to have a green as i said before today i'm going to be juicing some spinach i really love spinach this is one of the veggies that i can eat all the time i love it sauteed i love adding it to different dishes and i love juicing spinach so years ago when i'm done like some research and just looking up spinach of course it has vitamins in it i do remember reading that spinach is a good source of folate i love leafy greens i also sometimes will use kale because i feel like i kind of get the same kind of 
filled with kale, but I like the taste of spinach better, so. Okay, so let's go into the next fruit. This is my favorite fruit ever. Pineapple. It's very rare that you'll catch me making juice without pineapples. I love pineapple. This is my favorite fruit. Now, I bought these already sliced and pretty much prepared, ready to eat, but I normally like to buy my fruit from like a farmer's market or a local type of grocery store where I know it's fresh. I know where it's coming from. I can choose organic or whatever. And one of the things that I like to buy whole is a pineapple. I really love slicing it up myself. And those first couple of bites, ooh, especially when it's a really sweet pineapple. Pineapple, I feel like, helps the juice to taste good, to taste better. And also, pineapples also have good benefits. I'm sure you have heard going around the benefits of pineapples for women and their feminine health. But also, I have read and studied that pineapples can be good for the immune system and also have antioxidants. Now, I have been consistently having pineapple in my life for years. I can say that I am not somebody who normally gets sick or gets sick easily. I am not gonna say that I'm fully crediting it to pineapples, but I can definitely say that I do believe that pineapples have been good for me. They have been beneficial to my body. Let's get into the next fruit. So I like to have some type of berry in my juice because of antioxidants. I love blueberries right now when it comes to my juicing. The last fruit that I like to incorporate in my juice consistently is apples. So sometimes I'll just switch up the apples. It doesn't matter if it's Fuji apple. Sometimes I'll do green apple. It honestly, not green apple. Sometimes I'll do, well they are green. Sometimes I'll do Granny Smith apples. It honestly just depends on when I'm at the store, what they have available and what feels good at the time. So I've been pretty consistent with putting apples in my juice. I really like the taste that the apples give the juice along with the pineapples. And then also I believe apples have fiber in them. So that's one of the reasons I like to incorporate them into my juice. It is your juice, so make it how you like it. Most people are not gonna continue to take in something that they don't like or that is not appealing to their, their taste unless they're serious about something, have a goal, and, and that's just what they feel. So listen to your body, know what works for you, what you like, and you know, work from that place. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into washing the fruits and veggies that I have not washed yet. I've already washed the apples and let them dry. Of course, I'm not gonna wash my pineapples. So basically right now, I'm going to be washing the blueberries and the spinach and then jump into juicing my process and how I store it. I always like to make sure that I at least rinse my veggies. I do not want my spinach to get soggy, so I'm not gonna leave it in this water for too long. I feel good about putting it through the juicer. <laughs> now I'm gonna jump into washing the blueberries. I also have two packs of blueberries. As mentioned before, I already washed my apples. Earlier, I'm gonna be using three small apples because these are pretty tiny. To me, this basically is like two apples. I normally like to cut my apples into fours. Okay guys, I'm gonna give you a quick run through of my juicer. I've had this juicer for years. And before this one, I had another one that was the same, pretty much, same brand and everything. So this is Hamilton Beach. This thing has been steady and sturdy for me. I've had it for years, like I said, and I kinda like, I'm sometimes pretty rough with this thing. So the fact that it's still standing, I feel like means it's a good juicer because this thing has still been rolling with me. So I did have to put it together when I did pick it up. I did have to, you know, of course look at, well, I didn't really look at the instructions. I just kind of put stuff together. I like putting stuff together. So I'm actually gonna unplug it because it is plugged in. I'll actually assemble it um, so you guys can see how I put it together. Follow the instructions, but 
at this point, I know how to ensemble it. This part collects all of the pulp and stuff from the fruit, which I really love because it makes it easy that it all goes in there and you can just basically rinse it out. Um, sometimes I'll just cut on the garbage disposal to get rid of the extra fruit or you can do stuff like, I know some people do like compost stuff. Um, you can use the pulp of the fruit for really, I guess, whatever you want unless you throw it away. So there is like a little indentation here and this part here so you can fit it in there. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and with these two pieces, these are separate but they do connect. As you can see, I have <laughs> used this thing up quite a bit. I'll get a new one eventually. Uh, but for right now, she's still working good. This is where basically the juice gets to juice it. <laughs> and it's gonna come out of this spout. So this I put here. These also work together, but they're two different pieces. So I love that this juicer has where you can put the top. I love that it has these little snappy things. One in the front, one in the back, and it helps to keep the machine, you know, together. Obviously, if you start shaking it around and stuff, it could come loose, so. And then this piece helps to push down the fruit and the juicer. So, let's get started. <laughs> I am taking this off. I'll do the pineapples first, so. Alright, so now I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the spinach. about to jump in with both blueberries and then I will do the apples last. Here is a quick look at the juice. There's some frothiness in it, but it looks so good. This is like one of my favorite parts, seeing it like this. It just looks so good and healthy. So let's look into how I like to store my freshly made juice. So I like to keep them in their own little individual bottles. I feel like it's really cute and I feel like it's just easier to go in, grab one out the fridge, drink it, and then until I feel like I need to throw them away, I just wash them and keep using them for my weekly juicing or however often I juice. So sometimes I do like to add a little lemon juice to the bottles to act as a preservative. Now, do you have to do this? Sometimes I don't even do this. I wasn't doing it, you know, when I first started juicing and my juice would last. In the past, I haven't been as consistent, like I said, with drinking my juice <laughs> as often as I was supposed to, so I just felt like it helped a little bit to act as a natural preservative. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it this time because I do plan to actually continue to do the lemon ding when I am making my juices. So I am gonna use a funnel and I'm just gonna squeeze a tiny bit. I'm not trying to change the taste of the actual juice. So literally just a little bit I like to add. And this is number two, number three, number four. I'm gonna give it one more good shake to make sure that the juice is even, as even as it can be with me shaking it. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in here.
shake. So I'm actually gonna taste one. I already know what it's gonna taste like because this is basically the recipe I use, but why not? I'll go ahead and get my first one for the week out of the way. That was so good. And I feel like I did something healthy. All right guys, so that is all for this video. I just wanted to share me juicing, how I juice, my journey through juicing, and you know, just me restarting this journey of consistency. I'm so excited to see the benefits of this journey. I thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that this video inspired you whether it's on your health journey, whether it's just in general, or just if you just wanted to watch a random juicing video. Have a great day, and thank you for watching. Bye.